So think about your childhood for a moment. Do you remember being a creative child? Do you remember being a curious child? Do you remember um, coming up with out-of-the-box solutions? Do you remember wanting to learn things outside the conventional academic framework? Do you remember not being afraid to make mistakes, to uh, ask for advice, to seek help? Uh, do you remember to learn things by actually doing them? I certainly remember all of that because I was that kid and I know that most of you all were. My name is Priyanka and I am the founder of Machine Learning India, one of India's largest technical communities. We are a community of 5 lakh members interested in machine learning and AI, not just from within our own country, but across the globe. Today, I'm here to share my journey as to what led me to do what I do and how I did it. So as a child, I'm sure a lot of you all wanted to become astronauts. Some of you all wanted to become pilots. Uh, entrepreneurs, lawyers, surgeons, doctors, CEOs, and whatnot. I personally was very interested in the subject of um, intelligence, in the subject of neuroscience, in understanding how the brain works and how is it that the human brain processes different kinds of information. And uh, I remember at the age of 13, I had a separate book for brain anatomy wherein I had drawn labeled diagrams of the human brain. And um, against each uh, labeled part, there used to be short, sort of a quick summary of what that part was responsible of doing. And um, I think uh, the, the kind of questions that I used to ask used to be uh, whether or not free will existed and uh, whether all uh, decisions that humans make are just results of some biochemical reactions that take place inside the body, inside the brain. So you can surmise, I was really intrigued by um, intelligence in general. But life happened, I finished my schooling, uh, I prepared for IIT JE, I ended up in an engineering college. And given that I had some passion for coding at that point of time, which is back in 2015, I decided to uh, specialize in information technology. And uh, in my first year of engineering, I decided to take a look at the world around me and uh, I realized that autonomous vehicle technology was kind of picking up a lot of pace. Electrical vehicles were going to be the future. A lot of people were talking about um, renewable energy. Um, internet forums and uh, you know Reddit uh, had a lot of people talking about blockchains. Cryptocurrencies were getting a little normalized. People were talking about nanotechnology, biotechnology, genetic engineering and uh, technologies like... Um, uh, AI, machine learning, neural networks, deep learning were changing how uh, information was being processed across organizations in a very fundamental manner. So uh, I even had foreseen that social media uh, was going to become a very impactful tool in ideological exchange in the future. So having uh, known all of that, having seen all of that, um, I took a quick look at my curriculum and uh, explored what was it that I was going to study in the four years of my engineering degree and uh, to a little disappointment I found out that whatever I was going to learn uh, wouldn't really help me keep up with the pace of technological advancement um, and uh, I mean I had a lot of questions you know like would India given the current uh, education system given the state of the current education system here in our country would India ever be able to compete uh, with global technological superpowers? Would India ever be able to invent? Would India ever be able to innovate? And I had no answers to these questions back then. I grew to slightly dislike the system to a certain extent uh, and the people within, like when I was in my second year of engineering, uh, for a very simple reason that, uh, you know, the system overall seemed to encourage students uh, in securing a higher pointer, a higher grade, regurgitating unoriginal information and very little emphasis was placed on original thought, on rational thinking, on creative thinking, on original ideas and uh, I, uh, with the kind of person I was, with the kind of childhood I had, I think I found that to be very unacceptable and unsettling. I um, tried to change things a little bit, I tried to talk to people around me uh, about what was going on in my mind back then but um, I 
everything led to dead ends and i got uh, very tired of you know wanting to change the system for good and uh, i accepted things as they were and uh, decided not to be a blame thrower i decided not to complain about the government about the examination board about the education system about the faculty about my college about uh, my the, my friend circle about uh, my family about the kind of circumstances i was in i decided not to be complaining at all and uh, do good of what was in my own hands so because i was interested uh, in in certain subjects i think i decided to take them up i decided to take uh, courses up online uh, by world class researchers by world class leaders and uh, that i knew was my way ahead so um, because i think uh, i was also taking up a lot of gigs side gigs while i was uh, you know pursuing engineering including uh, very minor graphic designing for uh, for for firms and uh, some some website development some content writing some blogging some um, commercialization of my uh, art work i was good at art and uh, all of that the money that i earned through it i put it into uh, taking various courses up online on ai robotics and uh, neural networks Uh, i think i was at a stage in life where i couldn't very clearly visualize what i wanted to do in my life 5 years down the line 10 years down the line uh, so at that point of time i think i had just decided to experiment to explore all the options that i had and uh, then probably settle on something that i would really like to continue doing for the rest of my life um so ai happened to be one of them given i was really interested in you know studying um, the human brain as a child so uh, i started taking up courses and um, it was difficult i think initially uh, there was uh, there were there were a lot of difficulties i faced while learning to code uh, while understanding you know the mathematical complexities of uh, deep learning uh, of of neural networks how they worked in general there, there was some calculus involved there was uh linear programming involved there were a plethora of things and uh, i just couldn't wait and i was only in my second year of engineering but i wanted to really uh, explore these subjects in and out so i did go through a lot of obstacles but i kept learning nonetheless um and i had after i had come uh, to a certain stage i had started developing um, small beginner level projects and as i did that i started sharing information about these projects um on my social media platforms and also uploading these projects on my github so all of this was a process of building my own online portfolio um i i didn't know that i was sowing the seeds of the birth of machine learning in india back then and i didn't know what machine learning in india was going to look like years down the line i think back then i was only doing things that i genuinely loved doing genuinely loved talking about sharing more information about and i remember in april of 2018 i decided to create a separate page on instagram and um, i i just thought of a name i i called it machine learning india and uh, there the aim was uh, you know sharing quality educational resources quality educational information about these emerging technologies uh, generally the kind of information that i used to put out was you know information regarding developer conferences about various events in technology that were happening in the world of ai and uh, in general news you know uh, all 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 things up and coming uh, from google from microsoft all these ai teams uh, in various organizations i think that was the kind of information that used used to be put out and at the same time uh, i was also putting out information about the projects that i personally was working on i think the beauty of um, uh, ml india when it started was that i uh, never thought of what it was going to look like years down the line i was just doing uh, what what felt good what what felt right and i did not want anybody else to go through the same pain to to the same hurdles and the same obstacles obstacles of not having uh, proper guidance proper mentorship or um, uh, or resources in general uh, i think uh, i wanted to nullify those hurdles for a lot of curious people like me who wanted to enter the field who wanted to know more about the field but never had uh, a definite road map to get in or uh, or or a certain um, you know entry point to get in so i wanted to be that for uh, a lot of people and i think from the very beginning i have been someone to believe the fact that 
awareness i think simply can uh, give you an instant edge over uh, others just being aware about certain things just knowing things that are happening around you can give you an instant edge and i personally was aware about the kind of impact that these emerging technologies were about to bring in the world that was up and coming so i kept going i kept delivering consistently i kept putting in quality information um without expecting a lot of uh, things in return without giving in a lot of thought to lesser traction in the first few months and uh, that was the beginning of the birth of machine learning in india given that there was a lot of hype about these fields in general i think a lot of youngsters started uh, saving content on the page uh, taking screenshots um and within like a very short span of time uh, we had a good amount of follower base accumulating on the page and i knew that this initiative was going to be a big thing so we grew from just one simple idea of sharing quality information about deep learning um uh, and uh, machine learning and ai or emerging technologies in general to a community of 5 lakh members and we are securing as many as 8 million impressions today i think uh, this is this is bringing about a tremendous amount of social impact you know when today people come up to me they tell me that um, you know they got a certain opportunity or they got to know about ai they got to know about uh, other uh, related technologies through our page through our initiative through our community it feels amazing it feels like you know accomplished uh it feels like i am on the right track it feels like my hard work has paid off and uh, this is the kind of impact that i think i have been working for and uh, the entire team at machine learning india has been working for numbers matter very little but i think the 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 whole idea of bringing about a change of uh, making the youth in our country aware about these technologies so that some day india gets to have a very significant take in the global ai revolution that aim itself i think that cause it's something that is very close to our hearts and uh, that is something that i have dedicated my life towards uh and i'm very very proud of how far we have come if you think i'm intelligent or if i'm smart let me tell you i am not so i have had my fair share of failures i am the kind of a person who has had seven backlogs and 14 subjects to clear in a single semester i had almost zero attendance towards the end of my engineering degree um i had all my faculty members tell me that i was going nowhere i was a failure um i had a lot of people talk ill about me i had um, my own family members discourage my entrepreneurial aspirations given that i belong to a family where everyone has been involved in job or service for decades all together i think um, i had my friends telling me that you know i had i should take up a job and uh, this whole idea of building a community is not going anywhere because uh, if i have a job i'll have some 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 amount of financial security i had also some seed investors tell me that you know ideas didn't mean a lot and i was very young to pursue uh, something of the scale so um i think the obstacles kept coming but uh, the whole uh, purpose i think I, i i decided to stay true to it i i, I had faith in my idea i had faith in uh, my potential and that is what matters i didn't have a very concrete plan of building a very successful business but i had um uh I think I I was very passionate about what I was doing and I was genuinely happy with the work and that is what led me to uh, lead India's one of India's largest technical communities today so this is I think uh, something uh, worth sharing this is a journey worth sharing and my parting thoughts to you all would be that um, it's never going to be the right time for you nobody is going to come to you and give you the uh, road map in your hands nobody is going to come and give you the signal that this is the right way to do something uh, it's never going to happen uh, that's not how life works i think you just have to hit the ground running you just have to get started uh, whatever the circumstances are however the situation is and you just have to take the jump off the cliff and build your airplane on your way down that is the only way to go and once you get started i think the biggest responsibility for you is to show up consistently when you feel like it when you don't when you believe in yourself when you don't when others believe you when they don't when results are showing when results are not showing up 
I think the only way to go ahead is to never settle and to keep going regardless of uh, how things are and you know what you're feeling and what others are feeling that is the only way to go about it um, and this is something that was uh, you know, I, I, this is a journey I think which is worth sharing. This is idea, uh, this is an idea worth spreading. Thank you.